Alleluia. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Amen. Amen. Beloved, of course, the greatest thing in the world is to be a baptized Catholic. Amen. Amen. Bar none is the greatest honor in the world is for you and I to be baptized into the heart of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And for us priests, oh my goodness, we have a double scoop of ice cream as priests. We're Catholics and we get to celebrate the great mysteries for you. Beloved, treasure your Catholic faith. Amen. Amen. Uh, no matter what uh, the news says to you, whether it's the print media, the electronic media, no matter what they say, uh, let it be said categorically here in Mechigori, Satan and his cronies will lose. And God and Jesus and Mary and the church will win. Amen? Victory is coming to Mechigori. Victory is coming to the world. Because, beloved, that's Jesus' very nature. It's his middle name. His middle name is victory. Amen? And did you realize that every time we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ at Holy Mass, we are indeed receiving a share in his victory. A share in the victory of Jesus Christ every time we receive the body and blood of the God-man. Amen? Amen? And so, beloved, really, honestly, with the seven sacraments and the rosary, you can't lose. We always win. And I share this message with you, a message of victory and triumph, because now it seems that the slant of everything in the world, in the news, in the governments, is to rob you and I of our joy, to rob us of our hope. We want to be a people of hope and of joy every day of our lives. Amen? Amen. Now, the psalm said today, it's evident in the readings as well, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Now here's what we slip right over without realizing it. Do you know who makes known the splendors and the victory of the kingdom? The friends of God. You as a Catholic, myself as well, we are called to be friends of God. Our calling as Catholics we are the friends of God. Amen? Amen? Do you realize that God wants an intimate friendship with you and I? He wants to know you and to love you and have you have the same for him. He knows you intimately. He knows who you are. He knows you by name. Amen? Amen. When you receive Holy Communion today, do you realize that your name is written on that host? The very host you'll receive today, consecrated into the body and blood of Jesus, will have your name written on it already. The Lord really showed this to me one day. I've been blessed with, with the joy of a healing ministry. Uh, one of my cousins was a healing priest. His name was Father Robert de Grandis. He had a wonderful healing ministry. And he prayed over me on my ordination day. And he said, Father, God's going to give you my ministry when I go to heaven. Well, he went to heaven and it happened. And I see beautiful miracles from Jesus. In my ministry, I haven't worked even one miracle in my entire life. But I've seen more than 10,000 that Jesus did. Amen? Amen? Of all different kinds. Beloved, once I was preaching in Boston, Massachusetts. It was a homeless shelter. And that really fits, you see, today's gospel. Luke was the evangelist to the poor. And I had to pray over all the homeless people and the poor people. It was such a privilege, like Mother Teresa said, that we see the Eucharist in the poor and we see the poor in the Eucharist. And so I saw Jesus in all of them. And they had name tags on. I went to pray over each one. And one particular young fellow, I went to pray over him. And his name tag said something like William. But as I went to pray over him, the Holy Spirit whispered to me. And he said, his name is Joseph. Well, I said, Lord, I said, uh, his name tag says William. And the Lord said to me, his name is Joseph. 
But I had to really, I had to correct the Lord and teach the Lord, you see. That's my job. So I said, I'm sorry, Lord, it says William. And he told me a third time, his name is Joseph. And I figured when he says it three times, I better shut my trap, you know what I mean? And just obey. And so I was still disobedient. I still just called him William because I was, a, I was concerned. Because some of them were like mental health patients, you know? I thought if I called him the wrong name, he might go off on a tangent. So I better not call him the wrong name and get him upset. So I just said William and prayed over him. At the end of the healing service, they all came up one by one, and so did William. And I shook his hand and said, hey, William, it was so good to be with you today and to pray with you. Your name is William, right? He said, well, Father, coincidentally, I just got a copy of my birth certificate a few weeks ago with the help of the shelter. I didn't know this, he says. My mom and dad named me Joseph. <laughs> he knows your name. He even knows the shape of your nose. He loves everything about you. It's a beautiful old saying that goes like this. God loves you just the way you are. But he loves you too much to keep you there. Amen? Amen. It's time now, beloved, with Mary, through Mary, in Mary, by Mary, to rise up and become the saints you were meant to be. Amen? Amen? Only saints have joy. Only saints are happy. Everyone else is miserable. Isn't it true? Do you want to be joyful? Then become holy. And today you'll take your next big step because we will receive the body and blood of God today. It is the greatest miracle in the universe. I've seen thousands of miracles. None of them compare with this miracle. Amen? Amen. And you and I get to be here every single day to receive the body and blood of the God-man. There's no reason one saint said this, in one Holy Communion at one Mass is enough grace for any Catholic in the world is enough grace to become a saint in one Holy Communion. Isn't it true? It must be true. Amen? And so today, beloved, when you and I have the privilege, it's a privilege, I'm not even worthy to be a priest. It's a privilege to be here in this church. Ask the Lord today when you receive his son. I want to be a saint. I will be a saint. And I will be the most joyful man or woman in the world. Amen. Stay right Hallelujah. there. Hallelujah. I love you. Hallelujah. And God loves you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.